All they give little prisoner Abigail Ash to eat is a piece of moldy bread? Give that girl some food. This week was all about setting the stage for the next episode. I know shows have to do that, so I'm going to help us navigate through the plot twists and turns so that next week we're all prepared, because based on the ending, it is bound to be very exciting. Finally, we hear Lord Ash's daughter speak, and she is obviously terrified, hungry, and not doing so well. After all, she's been in prison for who knows how long, and all they give her is moldy bread to eat. And while Captain Vane comes in to talk to his booty, or ransom, or whatever, he gets super annoyed. Why? Because Captain Flint has perfectly positioned himself in the harbor to take over the fort, and Vane is mad at Eleanor. He says he knows she didn't tell him their plans, but it's just too perfect. She then tells him that she had no idea Flint would be so reckless as to attack the fort. Cut back to the ship, and yes, Flint is that reckless. In fact, he is getting help from Hornbill and Mr. Scott to decide how long it will take to rebuild the fort once they destroy it. However, Flint is still on the fence about Captain Vane, and Hornbill is none too pleased. But Captain Flint is a pirate in his prime, and he will do what he wants. Back in Nassau, Max, Anne, and Rackham are going through all their issues. Max really wants Anne, but Rackham wants her too. And Max says that it's just Anne is confused. She doesn't know who she wants. Either way, Max has decided to get Rackham back on the water and enlist the help of one of the ladies of the night to make it happen. And this week, it feels like Captain Flint and Miranda's flashbacks are even more important. They show us how Flint and his friend Thomas Hamilton have a disagreement about pardoning pirates. Mainly, Flint tells him not to bring it up or propose it to others, yet that's what Hamilton does. When Flint is called on to choose a side, he chooses his friend. Which brings us to Pirate of the Week, which is going to go to Captain Flint. Now, I was on the fence this time because it felt like a lot of different storylines were going on and there wasn't a real strong contender. However, at the end, it goes all Flint all the way. Easy decision. Now let's get into some of the most important scenes. Most insightful moment. John Silver is the prophetic voice of reason in this show. Yeah, he has wit and humor, but he really sees things as they are. After he tells Flint all the reasons he's staying with him, which is really just one reason, and that's the gold, he realizes that Flint doesn't want to be the villain and that he cares about what people think of him. And John says, it must be awful to be you. And now that we know even more about Captain Flint's background, it's obvious that he does have a lot of self-doubt and inner angst. Moment of relief. Abigail Ash may be imprisoned, and Captain Vane comes to tell her to write her own ransom note, which is just awful, but they both share a moment of relief when he tells her that Ned Lowe's head was on a pike. She says, good. Moment of surprise. Billy is back, and everyone's surprised to see him. John Silver finds him on the shore, and he decides to help him get better, but won't take him back to the ship. And then, of course, the first thing the man asks is that he wants to speak with Gates. Uh-oh. Moment of triumph. When Max gets Mr. Featherstone to swear allegiance to Rackham, which means he will have a ship and a place to go, they all look happy and Anne comes over to sit right next to Rackham. She might have spent a week in Max's bed, but I still think her loyalty is with Rackham. In the end, Miranda and Eleanor have words on how to deal with Captain Flint. She tells her about how if the fort goes down, everybody's going to be in trouble. But Miranda's really not convinced. She just suggests that Eleanor go ask her dad for help. Eleanor does not want to do that, but in the end, the decision is made and Captain Flint says fire. I'm already on the edge of my seat waiting for next week. 